I got this bike here with ballistic uh, XL600 uh, shocks on them and they barely move. And so I'm going to go ahead and open them up and see if I can fix them. We'll start off with uh, taking off the wheel. Let's release the brake here. And I'm going to be dropping these lower tubes down, so either I want to go ahead and I can release, you know, just uh, uh, cut the cable, or just, I'm going to just go ahead and remove the brakes because they're going to be out of the way anyway. And then these up here look like adjusters, but they're actually just little plugs. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove those. So they're just like little plugs up here. Put those aside. Okay, on rock shocks, normally they have a lot of the uh, springs, last overs and stuff up in the upper tube. But in these, there's nothing up there. Uh, there's a five millimeter hex bolt down at the bottom here so I've got a a long hex uh, socket here with an extension so I'm gonna see if I can get this down and get this connected get this into the hole there got it and this could be really tight so let's see it's helpful if you take a board and you put this through here. Let me see. And so you can kind of hold the forks as you torque the bolt. Ah, that's not that bad. Got that one. Let's try the other one. tight at all. Okay, it feels like I got that loose. And then let's see if I can pull these down now. Oh, these fork boots are toast. Okay, looks like there's some sort of a wire catch holding this little plastic part onto the metal part here. So let's see if I can get this loose. A small screwdriver here. Get this to release here. And pull that off. Let's see, pull this out. Okay, maybe the rest of the stuff and oop oh, and the rest of the stuff will fall out here. Nice. Is there anything else in there? Just springs. Okay, and let's do this other one here. In there. Pull this out. And again, just springs, no even elastomers in here. Just you know, clean these tubes with a little bit of a uh, citrus drink greaser.
I can pull these bolts out, but there's just a small hole in the bottom in here, and they're a little tough to get in. There's a rubber uh, washer at the bottom here, too. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave these in there for now. Okay, I'm ready to put these things back together. Uh, and I cleaned up these parts a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of Rock Shock Judy Butter, uh, which is like fork lube, and seems kind of like a little bit of a waste to use this expensive lube on these cheap forks, but what the heck. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just rub a little bit of the Judy Butter around the perimeter of this little plastic part here. And it doesn't need to be super heavy. And a little bit around down here. Just enough for them to like slide. And just throw a little bit around the, the spring there. And I'll go again on this one here. spring now this little plastic part here is going to fit on the spring like this it can also fit like that but that's not the way it goes this little narrow part here is going to go inside the spring like that and the open side is going to be facing up so let's go ahead and slide these into the fork tubes push them down and get in with this one same way slide that down inside the fork tube like that now I've got these uh, plastic parts here um, there's a bunch of different notches around here, and there's a slot where this kind of like uh, opens up like that. Um, the little wire clip here is going to fit, here's the slot here, into this first notch on this side of the, the slot. It's going to notch there, and then notch into one over here too. Um, so what I'm going to do is this notch right here, there's a notch in the uh, metal part of the lower here. This is going to line up with this. So I just press this in. And then the wire clip, the long part of the wire clip, is going to go into this slot in the, the plastic part here. And then this part here is going to fit underneath the metal part here. So, let's go ahead hook that up like this run this around get around to this side over here lift this up into place I might have to pull it a little bit and then it'll snap into place like that same thing with this side uh, there's a slot the uh, little wire clip is going to go into that notch there and there's a notch right here on the metal part so I'm going to line that up like that. The wire clip again, the long side goes into the little uh, slot in the plastic part there. So I get the first little part hooked on there. Run this around. Lift this up. And it's going to snap right in the place like that. Then I just take a little bit of the Judy Butter and run it around to the inside of these little plastic parts there so that the uppers will slide through there nice and smoothly. Okay, take a little bit of the Judy Butter and put a thin coating on the upper tubes. Just needs to be a very thin coating and try to make sure you get all the way around. Like that. Okay, you want to put, uh, put a little bit of a uh, blue thread locker onto the threads of the bolts here. And now here comes the fun part. 
I want to go ahead and slide the lowers over the uppers. Uh, make sure the brace is in the front. So just put those bolts down through there. And then slide this up. And then using my extension here, I'm going to reach down, find the top of the bolt. And then see here ah. find the top of the bolt there and then just go ahead and screw it in and screw it in finger tight to, to begin with here And the bolt is falling down in place. Find the top of the bolt. Let's see here. There we go. Let's screw that in. Get my wrench. There. Bring the brake down. The other brake over here. And I want to make sure that the uh, little pin here is in the little center hole there. Like that. Take these two little top plugs that I pulled off of here and just press those down in. Like that. Put the wheel back on. Re-engage the brake. And done. Let's try it out. Okay, I got everything back together again. The uh, forks move now like they're supposed to. Uh, I didn't put the uh, fork boots back on because they were just like shredded. Um, what I could do is uh, they have some fork boot replacements. Uh, they're made from neoprene, like by Lizard Skin. I can go ahead and put those on if I wanted to. But that's how you overhaul these Ballistic 600XL uh, shocks. And I hope you found this interesting or helpful. Um, they're pretty cheap shocks. So anyway, that's how you do it. Hope that helps.